This driver came in and he, he came up to the uh, shop in the morning. He says, hey, I got a fuel leak on here. I can't figure out where it's at. Some of our drivers are pretty good at um, identifying problems and what's wrong. And, and a couple of them really try to do that just because that's, even though it's a company truck, it's their truck and they want to keep it running right and they want to be part of the solution and not part of the problem. So uh, this particular driver is one of those kind of guys and he came in and he says, I've been cleaning this off. I cannot figure out where it's coming from. And he showed us where the fuel leak was and there was fuel all down the side of the engine and it was a mess and he uh, wiped it off and it was coming back around number six, five or six cylinder. So let's take a look at what we found. And uh, we, when we can't find a leak, we will use uh, talcum powder or monkey butt, you know what that powder is, to coat everything. And then we look for the powder to turn damp. Uh, and that's how we find the, um, the very start of what's happening. And this particular leak was very difficult to find because it was really just a seep. It wasn't a drip drip at all. It was a seep that would build up over time. So let's see how we found it. So here you can see we talcum down the uh, common rail. Always wear a mask. Talcum can be hazardous to your lungs. That's something we didn't know, we just found out. Here we're looking into a mirror at the bottom of the rail. And you can see that the talcum's wet. This is where that, that uh, nut is actually part of the rail that number six fuel line screws on. And here's another view of that and you can see almost a drop of fuel there. Now we had to do the high pressure fuel system test for 10 minutes, 29,000 PSI for 10 minutes before we got that, that to get that wet. So now we've got the new re uh, fuel rail on and we're gonna start her up and see how she sounds and make sure there's no leaks. If you have any leaks at any of those fittings that are part of the rail, they are not repairable and the rail has to be replaced. We did not leave any fuel lines loose. We've got a new common rail that's completely empty. So the high pressure uh, pump is going to have to fill that rail and purge all the air out of it. It basically pushes the air into the injectors as it fills the rail. So uh, we had a total crank time of about 30 seconds on this before it finally started. That uh, down on the injection pump down there, that was just some solvent we have to blow off. So she ran good and there was no leaks. It was a good repair job. Thanks for joining me on Engine Shop Joe.